Footsteps could be alright. We pitch shifted them, I don't know. A roar? <laughs> that sounds terrible. I mean, that kind of sounds cool. As the sound of the engine. What are these other ones? Yeah, nah. Motor. I might turn this down otherwise. Don't want to hurt your ears. Um <sighs> Oh. Okay, I'm gonna try this. But pitch shift it down. And make it sort of like a low like doot 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 sort of sound. I think that could work. Otherwise, I might just have to jump into logic and, and make my own sounds, which I'm not above. I think that a lot of the stuff I'm probably going to have to rejig anyway. Okay, so. We bring the volume to like negative 50. No. I'll just leave it there and just give it a go. All right, so it's pitch shifted quite a bit. Oh, but that's not that's not going to be okay. Okay, that is what I want. That's almost exactly what I want. But we just need to change the bass pitch. Uh, so. Is it engine sound? CD. So we've got a class. Okay, so the base pitch, if we bring that right down to half, and maybe we don't want to increase in pitch that much. Uh, and then here we want to increase that a little bit because of our new code to manage the reps. Okay, so that's close to what I want, but I'm going to trim the sound so that um, we can, by trimming the sound, we'll be able to pitch shift it down even further. So like this, like if we bring that down there, right? Replace that, and then we can update our base pitch to be a whole octave below that. And then we're going to have sort of a lower, like, uh, oh, what happened? Another, what? No, it should be fine. And maybe just add a little bit of distortion to give it a bit of a grunt, or maybe some overdrive. And I think that's kind of what. Okay, not quite. So I think I need to trim that other bit of audio. Uh, we will leave there. 
uh, so that first, like that first bit is probably all you really need. Um, and then I think I'm just going to put some distortion on that. In fact, maybe just some overdrive. Some overdrive at like maybe a hundred hertz and give it like a 0 0.6 drive. And that should like, even though it's going to increase in pitch, it should keep a rumble, like a low rumble at least, by having that overdrive at 100 hertz. Okay, so... Okay, it sounds really annoying, but okay, if we bring that down, trust me, <laughs> we keep that like that and we bring this up. Uh, so, it's this reps thing, so we don't need, quite need, hmm, yeah, that's a, that's what I'm trying to fix as well, uh, it's too high pitch, right? So, I think it's because we need this max, so this max reps, by doubling it, we're going to stop that increase being so, so prominent, and then we can, I think we can keep this pitch increase per gear. And then um, what I'm going to do is, is, I think by adding some chorus to this, it will, just before the compressor, uh, and That will mean that the engine sounds sort of sound a little more distributed, I guess, instead of piercing. Uh, the chorus is going to, I think, get rid of some of that piercing sound. Okay, so um, I think uh, so the max rips is actually like that, so we can do this. Um, maybe bring the bass pitch down further. Okay. Okay, so those those gear increases are way too much. I think oh I know why this is happening. Okay, so what we really want to do is base pitch divided by I don't know times because it needs to be relative to the base pitch. That's why it's it's so weird. Right? Cause like 
25 was work was working fine when we originally had that. Um, and I think I'm just going to put this increase off by a factor of 10. Um, then I don't really know what else I'd do to get that sounding right. Okay, so I kind of like where that is, but it's not dirty enough. Um, what are we going to do? Uh, okay, let's do some more lo-fi. Lo -fi. Let's bring the drive right up and everything above. A thousand, I guess we can keep in place. Uh, maybe we put the chorus before the distortion as well. Yeah, the bass pitch needs to go up. And I think it's not, the sound effect's not fast enough either. It's not repeating fast enough. So I might give it a, a little trim again. Uh, to bring it like into that here. We're going to make it a lot softer as well, and that it's not going to be so prominent, but. Okay, so that's way too way too much dirt. Um Don't really like these effects too much. Okay, so if we add that and then maybe I'll do like a low um I shall filter and just put it after the distortion. And we'll cut off at about a thousand, I think. And we don't want any, almost no resonance. And that's going to be the shelf, right? Can you do a negative number here? I don't know. No. Um. I mean, it's kind of the most important sound effect in the game. Right? I suppose if the volume's low enough. Okay, so that's easy enough to fix. I think that's pretty close to what I want. I might just bring that high pass down a little bit. Um, down to about 700 hertz. And... And then all I would want to do then is just bring that base hertz per gear. Only down slightly, and we can just turn the gain down on this as well. OK. 
Okay. It's also got to take into account both players can be doing. Okay, I think mm, I kind of like that, but I think the bass sound is just slightly off. It's close to what I want. Um, I think it's it's too it's too melodic. I don't I don't want something that's that melodic. Um, all those instruments are going to be melodic as well, I mean, various. Ooh, ooh, I like that, hold on. Yeah, no, this ring. Also, we can linear, linearly interpolate this sound. Um... Yeah, okay. I think I think this is this is the one. This is the one. I can feel it in my in my spirit bones. So if we bring this in, right? Uh diddly -diddly -diddly -diddly. so what would we want? Okay, so I'm gonna do this and I'm just gonna quickly uh linearly interpolate some of these values right so we're gonna lerp uh from our volume db from two and we'll lerp to about um zero point two and and then we can also lerp this value. So we're not going to like just be jumping straight into the new pitch. Uh, so we'll take the, the current pitch scale as the from, and we'll put uh, about a 0 0.2 in there as well. So there'll be sort of a small increase each time instead of just jumping straight to the values. Um, okay, let's see how this feels like. I feel like this this sound effects the the winner. We might need to tweak the pitch. Okay, so the bass pitch I think is uh, too low, that's fine. And I think, let's see, yeah, maybe this new sound effect has too much in the high frequencies as well. I might just do a whole like high pass instead of a high shelf. See, that's what I wanted. Ah, oh, that's, yep. Cool, all right. 